Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Don't Starve. I sound really happy for some reason, I'm sure. For you guys, it's not been so long, but for me it's been like three or four days since I've done any recording, and this is my first recording post PAX, and it feels so good to be back in the saddle again, man. I tell you, PAX is such a good time, and I will have a post PAX vlog out at some point, hopefully today, at the latest tomorrow. And um, it's one of those things where I, you know, the, the more time I spent away, the more time I've started missing it and missing like recording and talking to you guys. And it just feels good to be doing it again. So it may have only been a single day for you guys since I've done any recording, but for me, um, it's been way longer. So uh, I did look, go back and I did look and watch a little bit of last episode just to kind of catch myself up on what I was doing. But for the most part, I don't entirely know uh, what was going on. Um, I did read that somebody said these these raw blue caps do, do heal me. Um, they bring my sanity down a bit, which is alright. Uh, but thank you for that tip. I tried to read as many comments as I could, um, but I could only do so many before I started... Uh, having to, um, you know, not read them because there's, there was like 15 to 20 episodes worth of comments I needed to read. So I, I had to mostly skim through a lot of them just to kind of catch myself up and be able to read, you know, the majority of them. But starting this episode, I will be back to reading the comments or a lot of the comments and, and be back to normal, essentially. And damn, does it feel good. What is that? The examine blue mushroom? It doesn't even look like a blue mushroom, so maybe it comes out at night. Anyway, we're going to start heading back home so we can get good old Chester back there. And we can um, kind of organize our inventory. Our inventory is a little bit oversaturated, if I do say so myself. So getting that done will be good. We're going to make sure that we carry our spear on us. And it's so good to see our health actually way up there. I feel a lot safer now. I feel a lot better about our situation. F the birch trees. They're terrifying. I forget if somebody said there was a reason the birch trees came alive. I know somebody said that they had the same problem. I don't know if there's actually a reason or not, and if there is, um, well, it's a little late now. Is this the pig village? This might actually be the pig village, and the king, king pig is going to be in there. The problem with that is, um, come on, Chester. Come on, Chester. Let's go, buddy. The problem with that is that we're not going to be able to actually, you know, use the pig king, really, without killing off these wonderful uh, pigs in the process. So we're going to take the long way home and get back to our campsite. I miss our campsite. I do. I think we should shave, too, and see what this uh, beard gives us. I think this is as long as the beard can get. Can I just... Get out of here! Get out of here, turkey! Nobody wanted to hear from you. The Glomer statue. Can I actually mine Glomer statue? No. Take that, rock bug. I don't understand. Yeah, so... One of these things I just don't get quite yet is what some of these items do and what some of these like statues do and whatnot, but we'll see. I'm sure we'll discover it over time, honestly. Uh, I, I do definitely want to head into adventure mode eventually. Once we have enough time put into, you know, regular Don't Starve, we'll head to adventure mode. Uh, I'm just enjoying playing this game again. As I said before, it's been a long time since I've played it, so just kind of reacquainting myself with the way the mechanics work and the game itself has been fun enough for me. And this is actually one of the conversations that's great about PAX is because I got to meet a bunch of YouTubers and talk about things like this. And one of the things I was talking about about Don't Starve is uh, the fact that, you know, it's, it's a survival sandbox. And one of the problems survival sandboxes have um, is, or they can have, is a whole, an entire lack of content. It was actually RPG I was talking about it with. Um, and and the, the idea that, and the idea that, uh, you know, some some of them, Rust is one of them, is that the whole, most of the fun that you have to derive out of that game is self, you have to find it yourself. There's not a lot of content in the game to kind of drive you forward. I mean, if you think about Rust in particular, this is the game we were talking about, is that there's not a lot in the world to do. Really, a lot of the fun comes from interacting with players, and I understand that Rust is still very early and there's lots of plans for it, um, but it's on early access, so and it's, it's playable, so people are going to buy it and play it, and... Is a, it's a whole different discussion on whether I think early access for some games work, because I think other games it works better for and others it doesn't. Um, but, you know, in Rust, it's all about player creating fun. You know, it's a player interaction, it's about the multiplayer. And this is not a whole lot in the world to keep you, keep you playing. Um, but uh, Don't Starve is different 
in that it is there may you know it's a survival sandbox in a lot of ways obviously um i don't want them attacking chester that was my big fear there um but you know granted there's a lot of stuff for the player to have to do but the world itself even if you don't end up doing adventure mode there's so much in the sandbox world to discover to experiment with to explore that it remains fun whether or not you're doing the story objective mode stuff and i think that's a real big bonus and a real cool thing um, about Don't Starve, and I, I, it's one of its benefits, in my opinion. You can avoid adventure mode altogether and still have a really good time. Oh, that's kind of gross. Rot. Oh, right. Can I eat the rot? Yeah, it hurts. Uh, yeah, past its date. So, I don't know what to do with this. I wonder if we can use it as fuel for the fire. I, yeah. I bet you we could. Uh, so we'll drop this over here for now. I bet we could use it as a, a manure, too. But we'll go ahead and set up this trap. Uh, how far are we from our campsite? Oh, our campsite's actually south. Good thing that it looked, because we could have been wandering north for quite a while. And it would have been bad. Other traps, we would have been fine. God damn it, come on. Oh, yeah, you guys want to eat that? That's fine. Uh, well, you know, I didn't know what he was going to do. We'll chow down on his on his stuff. We could have probably fed the spiders, but not a big deal. I just want to get back to the campsite uh, relatively quickly. It's actually Oh, that's actually our uh, spider egg. Well then, never mind. Oh, wow, the web is spreading quite a lot. But we can add fuel, too, which is awesome. Um, let's go ahead and pop some of that in it. And then we can go ahead and add that as fuel. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, well. And here we are. All right, Chester, let's drop your bone. Um, let's go ahead and drop the bone over here. There you go. So you can stay. Ooh, that's actually in a bad spot. Uh, you better not be... Oh, you are. Oh, they're going to kill Chester. Come on. Come on, leave Chester alone. Ah! I don't want you killing Chester. That's, like, awful. God damn it. Dead. Come on. Sorry. Alright, Chester, are you good, buddy? Hopefully over there he'll be all right. All right, Whew, that was close. Had to kill him. I'm hoping they'll leave him alone. Now, all right, I could give it to him, which is what I'm gonna do. Uh, can I give him anything else? He doesn't want that. How about this? Nope. And I guess it's meat only. That would that would make sense. Oh well. This actually heals me, so let's go ahead and eat that up just to heal up. And we'll keep Chester as best as possible uh, away from them. Not that I could do. At least they're constantly giving me like a source of food just by being able to like attack them and stuff. We should be fine though. A little bit a little bit worried about Chester. I don't know how how much health he ends up having. Um, I'm just hoping he won't end up getting killed. That's my biggest concern, is that he's going to die. Uh, let's shave up. Might as well. Oh, lots and lots of, of webbing. Good. That's what I figured I was going to get, and that's actually good, because webbing can be difficult to come across, especially since you have to kill spiders for it in their nests, and if I don't have to do that, that'll end up being better for me. So, uh, that's good. Let's see. Let's pop some twigs in there. Marble. Y uh, yarn. That's not yarn, Matt. That's uh, webbing. Keep this here. We have a bunch of axes. I want to kind of go through them all. Get out of here! Yeah! Yeah! Get out! Assholes. Oh. Is he going to follow me around now? He is. Oh, that's cute. I like how he's just deathly afraid of the daylight. Adorable. Uh, let's keep on storing some stuff. So, gold... Uh, we can put the razor away now. 
These can stay, this can stay. Actually, where'd that go? Okay, I went in my backpack, so we're gonna use Chester. Uh, cut stone, stone. Just a lot of our supplies that we don't need, really. That's good. Is there anything I can actually make over here? Doesn't look like it. Alright, let's, uh, well, we're hungry, so let's eat up. Eat, 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 until we're full. And, uh, let's continue exploring to areas that we have yet to see. The question is where? Where do we go? Um, this obviously water is blocking off. We could go up here, though I think water is going to end up blocking off. But we'll follow the road. I think the road leads up there, so let's go ahead and do that. I do have lots of trees over here. Not really going to check our traps right now, as we're doing pretty well. Actually, you know, if I could chase this guy into the trap. Oh, that sucks. Thought I thought I'd be able to pull that one off. But we'll check up this way. See other areas that we haven't explored yet, and make best make do with what's up here. Hopefully, we'll find maybe some beefaloes. That would be ideal for farms. It's really, I think, my biggest goal right now is to find some beefaloes and do some exploration. Wow, there's actually a lot of jackalopes up here, so that's pretty damn good. Really? He was in the, the tumbleweed. That's something that can happen. All right. Well. I like the music plays, I just don't know if it really matters giving him anymore. He's already following me. So I don't know if it actually matters. Should maybe save that food for other spiders. Honeybee? Let me keep this up here. There's a song about honeybees, I think. That I, th I think I remember I hearing. Alright, let's go. Again, I don't want to go too far, but... Let's just go straight left. We went so far right already, I, I think going... To the, to the east. We'll just be treading old ground. Granted, of course, there's going to be a lot to explore, a lot I haven't seen, but might as well head west. Is actually closer to some unexplored territory that we should go check out. Is that... Okay, I thought I saw some rot under there. I will say the spider dude is super slow. and move a lot faster than he does. Manure. If we can find manure, man, that's going to be key. Having uh, the spider follow me, though, the good thing about that is that he is going to provide extra damage, extra DPS. He's like a familiar in, in a lot of ways, so. Come on, spider. You are so slow. I'm so afraid to actually leave him behind. Um, I'm going to start mining away here just to kind of get rid of some of this stuff. All right, here they come. Really? Okay, good, spider. Spider's doing jack diddly. Definitely take that. I like how they swoop down immediately to try and eat up the, the leftovers. Come on. How many are there? Three? And I don't really want to deal with three. If I can pull one away, one at, at, away at a time, then that's fine. But three, not so much. See you guys. Leave me alone. 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 Is the spider dead? Is he gone? Is he disappearing into the death wilderness? Did he just die trying to fight the the, uh, the dogs off for my safety? It's an honorable way to go, defending your master. If there's any way to die, that would be the one I'd want you to do. Not really almost time for bed, to be honest. Did I lose health there? Blue mushrooms, that's where it's going to have to be at then. And we're already hitting water. That's depressing. An uneventful adventure. An uneventful? Uneventful adventure. Now, if we follow these footsteps that I just... I saw one down there. If they're leading north. And we find that, that special animal that it leads to. If I remember correctly from when I fought it initially, uh, back in the old, the old version, the thing is a beast. It is super hard to kill. On top of that, it hits really hard. So, um, that's something to keep in mind. I'm a, I would not want to fight these things for the pure idea that they're probably going to whoop my ass. I can hear the sounds of another world. Are you like, are you super fast? Oh, you charge. F that. Alright, well, that's not what I want! 
Alright, 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 right, I'm sorry. Whoa! What happened? Ow! Are you fucking shit in my hole? Okay, he died because he got crushed by the enemy. And he's just running through shit. Well, that's kind of cool because I can get him to do that. I can just get him to kill his own dudes. Okay, we should probably head back, actually. I have, like... Please don't hit me. Woo! That would have been my death. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Don't hit me. I don't think red cats... Oh, shit. That actually hurts. Okay. Not gonna happen. Uh, are we gonna be able to get back in time? What? Why was the screen shaking? I'm gonna die. I'm actually gonna get stuck in the woods here right now. I need two twigs. I need two twigs! I need two twigs! Oh no, no! I was not paying attention! Oh, fuck me. I'm dead. I'm so dead. I'm dead. There's nothing I can do. Yep. No, no! Ugh. Yep. Oh, I unlocked somebody else. Oh, shit. Stupidity at its finest, ladies and gentlemen. Stupidity at its finest. Uh, let's go check that character. I'm actually curious who that is. I wonder if that's another new character. Um, another new game. Character. Let's see, the performance artist, I tested my incredible acting, excels in battle, gains power from fallen foes, only eats meat. That could be difficult. Um, Wigfred. Interesting. So many people I've actually never played. I'm actually int I'd actually, i be interested to try him out. So we might actually try him out, because I've never tried him. I think he's before... Um, damage charged by lightning, damaged by rain, which actually worries me. Alright, we'll play with him. I think we're going to try and get into adventure mode a little earlier. I'm having a hard time, obviously, surviving. I feel bad because I'm really bad at this. But it's fun. It's still a lot of fun for me, and luckily the world's different every time. So, And this, this the good thing about playing as this character will be that... Uh, say, pal, you don't look so good. The good thing about playing as this character will be that... Uh, that I won't get attacked by monsters. So... Um, that's not really important. So he's not a picky eater, which tells me I can eat everything, and it will, it'll, it'll actually be fine. Which is good. A lot of collapsed stuff. wonder why they're all collapsed. Doesn't help me eat at all. But we're going to pick a bunch of stuff, we'll get all the basics up. We're going to do this for a few minutes, obviously, because we're running... Running close to the end of the episode. Um, but since I'm back from PAX, I don't want to give you short episodes anymore. I felt bad doing it before, and I, I didn't even short it by that much. It was like a couple minutes here and there. But those add up, man, over time. Um, but I don't have to do that anymore, so. And I'm not going to, since I don't have to. Which is good. Alright, let's do this. There's a couple twigs up there. I was hoping maybe some uh, beefaloes would be over here, but they're not. The other thing, too, is that now I can actually kind of, like, actively look for, uh... I can actively look for, uh... What do you call it? The pig the pig king, because I won't get attacked by him anymore. I want to hear his voice. Oh, okay. Well, then. Interesting. I like it. It is rebooting. That's actually awesome. Uh, I, like his, I like his dialogue already. I'm curious what upgrades he can get. So he can upgrade with gears. So if I attack those metallic creatures and able to fight them, I can upgrade with them. If lightning shows up, maybe I get I get charged up by lightning. I'm curious how that works. And I'm curious what you know. Weber's kind of cool that he's a monster and can get spiders friends, but outside of that, he didn't seem. He's cool looking. I like the way he he's designed, but I don't think he's gonna provide that much more stuff. So we got armor if we need it. I should wear more armor. We already found ourselves a, uh, a wormhole. Ah, some flint goods so we can get an axe up. Get that up early. 
And we will, you know, oh, red bees, those things are scary. You know, we'll end the episode here with an axe. So thank you guys so much for watching. It is so good to be back. I feel so happy. Um, I'm, I, I loved PAX, and you'll get my, my description of how PAX went over the next few days. What the hell? Alright, interesting. Pick up ring thing. How delightfully inorganic. Um, a lot of gold over here. Alright, well, hang on. Uh, but yeah, anyway, it's great to be, on, be home from PAX. You guys are going to get a, uh, a rundown of my PAX experience uh, today or at the latest tomorrow, totally depending on what's going on. Um, oh, fucking red bees, yeah. Okay, good. Oh, shit, son! Go attack the spider. There's a lot of freaking. Uh, there's a lot of freaking spiders over here. But if you enjoyed it, come back tomorrow. We will have, we're will we back to more daily Don't Starve, even though we've been doing daily Don't Starve since I've been gone. But I'm back to more daily, uh, daily Don't Starve, and it's really happy. To, it's really exciting to be back. Um, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.